Hey everyone, welcome to our talk. In this talk, we shall study a new recommended agent specifically for the multi-stakeholder setup. The standard recommended system is user-centric, where every time when there is a user query, the recommended recommends contents to recommend, uh, maximize user utility. However, this ignores another key player on the platform, the content providers, who generate content to the platform and also receive feedback from the users and, and recommend about the popularity of their content. Such user-centric recommender system may make it difficult for less established providers to thrive on the platform. And there, recently, there has been growing interest in moving from a user-centric setup to a multi-stakeholder setup. For example, there are literature's unfairness with respect to the providers when designing the recommended systems. By taking the providers into consideration, our paper proposed to jointly optimize the user and provider satisfaction, and we hope this will result in a more sustainable environment. There are two lines of work focusing on multi-stakeholder systems with different modeling focus and optimization objectives on users and providers. However, as intelligent agents, both providers and users may update their states in response to feedback from others. This paper models the interaction between them and jointly optimize their utility. We name our agent at, as eco agent. Our goal is to maximize the overall user and content provider welfare. And our strategy is to characterize um, the user recommended provider interdependence and also optimize the user utility plus the provider utility uplift, which we will uh, define later. Formally, we provide a reinforcement learning uh, framework to jointly optimize the user and provider utilities. Every time when there is a user query, we want to optimize the user utility together with all related provider utilities. Note that not being recommended is also feedback to the provider and can have negative impact on the provider utility. So potentially, even one recommendation will influence a bunch of provider utilities. So here comes the exact definitions of user utility and provider utility. Here we want to emphasize the provider utility, which is also the uh, summation of a discounted future provider rewards. And we define the provider uh, reward proxies to capture how active the provider is, such as the viability or the number of uploads to the platform. Let's revisit our previous proposed objective. So here there is a, a scalability concern if, if there's a large pool of provider candidates and it is not scalable at all if we want to optimize all provider utilities just for one recommendation. So how do we solve it? We propose an, an assumption. So um, basically the assumption says if one provider does not get get recommended. Her utility does not depend on which other providers are recommended. So having that, having this, uh, our previous objective is, uh, is like uh, this user utility plus all provider utilities. And then we consider based on which is the summation of all the provider utilities, supposing none of them are getting recommended. By subtracting this baseline and um, uh, uh, by the a uh, no provider externality assumption. For those providers who are not, not recommended, their utilities cancel out. And what we have is only the recommended provider utility uplift, which is the difference between the pro this provider's utility when the provider gets recommended versus when the provider does not get, re get recommended. So our previous objective is not scalable at all, but right now our objective is much more scalable. So. Mathematically, here's a term we want to optimize the user utility plus the recommended uh, provider utility uplift. Lambda here is a, a hyperparameter hyper controlling how much we weigh on the provider side. Uh, let's consider our provider uh, eco agent um, design. There are three components. The first component is the user component, which extracts um, the user state from a user history. And the uh, provider component extract the provider states from a provider history. And the actor takes uh, the user state and provider states as input and output uh, recommendation policy. 
And this user um, model is a R, 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 recurrent neural network model, uh, which embeds the user history uh, into the user state uh, and to predict the user utility. And similarly, we have a provided uh, recurrent neural network, which embeds the provider history into a provider state. But also we use it to predict the kind of factual provider utility. Uh, recall that in our objective, we need to estimate the utility uplift of the provider. But for the recommended provider, we can only observe is uh, the provider's utility when the provider gets recommended, but not the kind of factual one. So we use it to predict it. So specifically, we construct a kind of factual provider um, history up to time t, pretending that the provider does not get recommended at time t, and we use this R model to predict the pro provider kind of factual utility. And for consistency, we also use this R model to predict the provider utility of being recommended. And the difference of these two is our estimated provider utility uplift. So let's just do a recap. We have a user um, uh, R model which uh, generates the user state. We also have the provider utility model which generates the provider state. And then we have an actor model to um, generate a policy. Uh, and we optimize it using a reinforced point policy gradient method um, to increase the user utility plus the recommended uh, provider utility uplift. Let's take a look at our simulation platform. Uh, we, we make use of an existing um, platform named Rexim. Rexim already has the user component here, and we we add a comparable provider component. The provider transition model transits the provider latent state in response to the user and uh, recommender feedback, and the provider res response model um, uh, is is taking action such as modify the contents or leaving the platform. Um, based on the provider current state. And we and we consider the online learning for our eco agent in the simulation platform. So for each training epoch, the eco agent interacts with new environments uh, and collect data. Um, so at and also at each time step of one year out, all users will receive the recommendations simultaneously and the environment updates all users and provider states. Um, and we update our eco agent using the adult grad optimizer. So before we dive into our experimental results, we consider a scenario when the provider utility gets saturated with accumulating user and recommended feedback, uh, which reflects the diminishing returns often seen in re reality. Intuitively, one recommendation may not influence an established pro provider much given the existing popularity but will influence a less established provider more um, and may help the platform to keep this provider on the in the platform. As a result, um, less established providers have larger ground truth uh, utility uplift than well-established established providers. So our first question is that, does our eco agent increase the provider satisfaction? Um, the answer is yes, because we can see that by weighing more on the provider side, eco agent increase the provider accumulated reward as compared to a user's only agent. And also eco agent increased the number of um, providers on the platform. And here comes our natural question, will the user be sac sacrificed? So we draw a parental uh, plot uh, to compare the user reward versus the provider reward we can see that there exists uh, a trade-off between the users and the providers, but also note that in the yellow circle here, those points, they improve the provider uh, utilities, but uh, without sacrificing the user utility much. So, uh, so a properly tuned uh, provider aware agent can trade off uh, these two well. To investigate it a little bit more, we can see the setup where there exist two identical groups of providers. Uh, they only they only they only dif differ in the initial satisfaction starting point. Um, so group group B providers can can have smaller 
um, a utility uplift as compared to group A providers. And in this case, our eco agent, eco agent can still uh, identify uh, like group A can increase the utility more. Uh, so uh, recommend group A, and um, and we but uh, but there's no trade off here because um, by design there are no difference between group A and group B. Um, so we can see that eco agent increase the provider utility without sacrificing the user utility. So why does provider utility uplift help here? We plot our predicted provider utility uplift by our eco agent. As we can see that uh, when the provider utility gets situated, less established providers are predicted to have a larger utility uplift, which is in alignment with our ground truth. And our eco agent can distinguish those less established providers and recommend them more um, to increase the overall provider utilities. So our next question is that what if the provider satisfaction does not get saturated and we consider linear provider utility? An eco agent does not help here because it cannot distinguish between the less established providers versus the established providers. Um, but there is a setup where the eco agent can make a difference. Uh, again, we consider two subgroups, but uh, the group B are more sensitive to being uh, to uh, being recommended. Again, here we can see that eco agent indeed improve the provider utility as compared to a user centric agent. But this time, eco agent does not really help the provider, and so, and we can see that the number of providers actually a, a, a decrease here. So why is the case? Because the eco agent like um, favor the group B, uh, uh, um, but this is not fair. Group A and group B uh, ha have low difference, except their, their different sensit sensitivity to being recommended. Um, but this will not help to, um, to, to save Less established established providers. This will this also lead to our reflection on the objective design, which we shall dis discuss later. Just to recap, uh, in this paper we mod we model the interaction among users, providers, and recommender, and we propose um, a family of eco agents to jointly optimize user and provider satisfaction. So the takeaway here is that when the provider satisfaction gets saturated, eco agent can increase the provider utility and the number of number of uh, providers, and also can achieve a good balance between users and providers. But if uh, if there's no difference of the provider utility uplift between less established providers or more established providers, eco agent may not help here. Um, and this needs, also needs to add uh, like a future directions. For example, if you want to optimize other uh, objectives such as the number of viable providers, maybe you can replace the utility uplift with the probability uplift of staying on a platform. Uh, similarly, you can adapt um, uh, to other uh, maximization objective. Um, that's it. Thank you for, for listening to this talk. Thanks.